Good morning everyone. It's Friday morning and we're going to read together this morning from Proverbs chapter 7, again reading from the New Living Translation. So as we start, let's just hear God's word. Follow my advice, my son. Always treasure my commands. Obey my commands and live. Guard my instructions as you guard your own eyes. Tie them on your fingers as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Love wisdom like a sister. Make insight a beloved member of your family. Let them protect you from an affair with an immoral woman. From listening to the flattery of a promiscuous woman. While I was at the window of my house looking through the curtain, uh, I saw some naive young men, and one in particular who lacked common sense. He was crossing the street near the house of an immoral woman, strolling down the path by her house. It was a twilight in the evening as deep darkness fell. The woman approached him, seductively dressed and sly of heart. She was brash, rebellious type, never content to stay at home. She was often in the streets and markets, soliciting at every corner. She threw her arms around him and kissed him, and with a brazen look she said, I've just made my peace offering and fulfilled my vows. You're the one I was looking for. I came out here, and here you are. My bed is spread with beautiful blankets with coloured sheets of Egyptian linen. I perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloe and cinnamon. Come, let's drink our fill of love until morning. Let's enjoy each other's caresses, for my husband is not at home. He's away on a long trip. He has taken a wallet full of money with him and won't return until later this month. So she seduced him with her pretty speech and enticed him with her flattery. He followed her at once like an ox going to the slaughter. He was like a stag caught in a trap, awaiting the arrow that would pierce its heart. He was like a bird flying into a snare little knowing it would cost him his life. So listen to me, my sons. Pay attention to my words. Don't let your heart stray away towards her. Don't wander down her wayward path. For she has ruined many victims. Many men have been her victims. Her house is the road to the grave. Her bed is the den of death. Amen. Proverbs chapter 7. It starts off that chapter with a, a theme that we've heard a couple of times during um, the first ver chapters of Proverbs about obey my commands, listen to my advice, write them on your fingers, as tie them to your fingers as a reminder, write them deep within your heart. You know, that's a challenge for us to know God's word, for to know what it teaches, um, because if we know what it teaches and how it instructs us, then we can follow that teaching. We can follow that instruction. And then what comes after that is nearly like a, 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 a showing what can happen if you don't follow that wisdom and that instruction. And again, the, the author, Solomon, uses the, the analogy of somebody going um, to somebody, not his wife, uh, about an affair. And at the, end, at the end of it, so listen to my words and pay attention. Don't let your heart stray toward her. Don't wander down her wayward path. Again, people were very prone to wandering away from God's word, from God's teaching, and following other religions, other teachings that were not were, were false, and it only got them into trouble. Um, the whole way through the Old Testament, we see the pattern of the the children of Israel following. God, then not following God, falling, falling into destruction, crying out to him, God rescuing them, you know, and, and that's just that continual cycle of following and then not following, following, not following, how it brings them down eventually. Um, the whole book of Judges is based around that. And Solomon here again in, in this chapter is just warning that please listen to God's teaching. Listen to how he wants to guide us and direct us and instruct us. Why? Because he loves us and Solomon uses again you know it's a family analogy listen to um, me listen to me son uh, and even in the previous one he talks about listen to your mother and father uh, and about how they are wiser how they have lived longer to how they understand more and it's the same with God how he understands more than what we do 
Yeah, we are easily confused at times, aren't we? We are easily blinded um, and we're easily led. You just go watch the news over the last number of months as people have talked about, oh, COVID isn't real, it's all a conspiracy about masks. Even just the last few days, you look at what happened in America, how people, sometimes with their own agenda, blindly follow somebody who takes them down their own path and where that leads to. You know, God in life doesn't want us to be the gap. He wants us to follow him. So by doing what we're doing, by spending some time each day reading God's word, thinking about it, praying about it, it's the right thing to do. But let me encourage you to do it more each day, not just this short time, but also to spend more time um, with God in his word day by day. So let's pray together. Father, thank you again for today. Thank you again for your word and how it teaches us, how it guides us, how it directs us. Lord, thank you that you love us so much that you want to guide and direct us. Please just make us open to you, open to your leading, open to your word, that we would hear your voice and that we would obey you. Lord, for our world around us, we just pray at this time. Um, Lord, we pray for peace. We pray for sense. We pray for people to look out for one another. Um, we thank you for the vaccinations that are being developed for COVID. And um, Lord, as I rolled out all, up through our population now, we pray that they would get to those people, first of all, who most need it, those who are looking after us and caring for us. And then Lord, it would reach the rest of us so that we have that sense of protection physically. But we thank you that ultimately our spiritual protection comes from you. Father, thank you. Be with us all now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me this morning. Um, just pray that you have a good day. Uh, take care. And I will see you again on Monday as we go back into Proverbs. If you're free on Sunday at 11 o'clock to join us, then please do so. Um, it'll be streamed simply from the months because of the current lockdown situations that are going on. Uh, but we are going to do communion. So have your bread and your wine ready for Sunday morning and we can share communion together. But until then, take care. God bless. Bye.